it's the year 970 AD, in the Icelandic state of Icelandic Commonwealth. Leif Eriksson is born. Eriksson grew up in Iceland, for seven years, being the second of three sons and one daughter, of the great, Erik the Red. Although, Eriksson did not grow up with his family. Like Viking tradition, Leif Eriksson moved, with a man named Thurka when he was eight. Thurka was German, who had taught Leif all he needed to know, from reading and writing, the Celtic and Russian tongue, to learning how to trade goods. At age 12, Leif Eriksson moved back with his family, where he would stay to live. Once he arrived back in Iceland however, he noticed that there were more slaves and new houses. In the spring, after Leif arrived, his father, Erik the Red, was summoned to a Thingvalla or lawmaking assembly. Erik decided to bring Leif with him. The next day, among the crowds, Erik met a man to whom he was feuding with. They started to fight. Eric eventually killed the other man. This led to Eric and his family to be banished from Iceland for the next three years. Little did anyone know. Eric, with his family, discovered the new territory of Greenland, which he called Green, for marketing purposes. And now, Leif Eriksson's journey to America. From Leif's present home in Western Settlement, Greenland, to the unknown location, many Vikings, including Eriksson, called Vinland in the old sagas. Many assume Vinland is in Canada, which it probably is. One strong belief, is that, Eriksson, is believed to have founded Vinland, naming it Vinland because of the many grapevines that he spotted in this location. But no one knows for sure where it is, what it is, or how to find it. According to the sagas, Eriksson set sail for the world without any accidents of such kind. Eriksson left the western settlement of Greenland, in 995 AD. Eriksson and his crew got ready for the harsh winter to come. The lack of native people around the area made it easier to do so. Although, later accounts did say that not only Leif but other Vikings encountered a verity of these native people. They called them Skrælings. To this day, we still take time to remember the explorers that changed the world as we know it. Leif Erikson is one of them. Thank you.